Water is the primary medium through which climate changes influences Earth's ecosystem and thus the livelihood and well-being of societies. My name is Antoine Gabert, the Artistic Director of Water for Life International Art Exhibitions. It is an international, cultural and artistic program that showcases around the world a series of artworks inspired by the theme of water. Water for Life International Art Exhibition is a continuation of the important message of the water theme that was started years ago through the artistic expression of the famous mural created by Diego Rivera and Rina Lasso at the Carcamo de Rio Lerma in Mexico City. Through the theme of water, our objective is to sensitize audiences that an important social and cultural issue, more than a billion individuals, one in seven people on the planet now lack access to safe drinking water. Today, due to climate change, higher temperatures and changes in extreme weather conditions are projected to affect availability and distribution of rainfall, snowmelt, river flows, groundwater and further deteriorate water quality. More floods and severe droughts are also predicted. Changes in water availability will also impact health and food security. The United Nations in 2018 announced that more than 2 billion people live in countries experiencing high water stress. The situation will likely worsen as populations and demand for water grows and as the effects of climate change intensify. Climate change is a complex problem that has increased the need for an integrated multi-sectorial and multidisciplinary response that would require collaboration to use and consume water efficiently. Water for Life International Art Exhibition 4th Edition will be presented at the Maya Museum of Cancun in Mexico, located in the luxurious hotel zone. This museum has an important collection of Mayan archaeological artifacts that is housed in a sleeky design building created by the architect Alberto Garcia Lascurin. The museum is part of the National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico. It houses one of the permanent archaeological collections of the most significant culture of the country because not only include the most relevant state of Quintana Roo pieces, but a selection of iconic pieces of the site of Palenque, Chichen Itza and Comalcalco, among other places. The Water for Life International Art Exhibition 4th Edition will be exhibited in the prestigious Section 3 of the Maya Museum Temporary Exhibition Space and it will be providing the local community and tourists with an opportunity to explore a different perspective from internationally recognized artists about their perception of the current issues of access to safe drinking water expressed through their art. Since the first Water for Life International Art Exhibition in 2018, over 90 internationally recognized artists from 30 different countries participated across all the Water for Life editions, contributing to an increased awareness of global water issues with the public. At this exhibition, Water for Life supports two important natural sources of water that needs protection in the peninsula. First, the mangroves, particularly the red mangroves, who live between the sea and land in areas which are flooded by tides for part of the time. They make up one of the world's most unique ecosystem because they thrive where no other trees can survive in transition zone between the ocean and land. They can also help to reduce the impact of higher seawater level on coastal protection in the face of global 
climate change. The second are the thousands of cenotes found in the Mexico Yucatan Peninsula alone. Cenotes are natural swimming holes formed by the collapse of porous limestone bedrock, which has revealed a secret subterranean world of groundwater pools. The Mayas revered cenotes because they were a water source in dry times. Most of them are a great source of fresh, accessible groundwater that also needs our protection. In 2019, while in Florence, Italy, presenting about the Water for Life International Exhibitions, the Center for UNESCO of Florence became an important international collaborator with the Water for Life International Art Exhibitions as we both shared the same objectives, the right to access to clean drinking water and climate changes issues. Furthermore, as the UNESCO pays particular attention to the tropical environment, for which they created a specific day dedicated to the mangrove ecosystem. Water for Life 4th edition is therefore supporting the protection of the mangroves in the Yucatan Peninsula. Several other important national and local Mexican organizations sharing the same vision partner with Water for Life in this fourth edition. The Instituto Nacional de Antropología y Historia, the State of Quintana Roo, the City of Cancún, the Museum Maya of Cancún, the Universidad del Caribe, Sentinelas del Agua Organization, Rio Secreto, Puerto Maya, and Alternative. We hope that the theme of water of this international art exhibition will sensitize the public about the fact that, still today, more than a billion individuals, one in seven people on the planet, now lack access to safe drinking water. Don't miss this opportunity to join this event and support this important social cause in our next Water for Life International Art Exhibition 4th edition at the Maya Museum in Cancun, Mexico. Thank you for watching.